What are you guys doing? Huh? What are you? I'm from Wisteria Drive. What are you guys doing out there? Huh? I want to know. I can smell the meth on your breath. Meth on your breath. I know what you guys are all doing. You dirty little heathens. You little infidel heathens. <laughs> Yo, stories of betrayal. They sell. Look at this beard, dude. Look at this fucking beard. I know when. I know you guys don't like when I do these. I know you guys don't like when I do this. All praises be to one. All praises be to one. God. Yo, stories of betrayal sell. How come? Because it's just in America, it's like, you know, it's tantalizing and shit. It's like people, it's biblical. It's biblical. Judas and shit and the story of Jesus and all that stuff. Stories of betrayal, dude. Hey, here, just in human nature, betrayal, that's like the ultimate. It's a fucking, it's the ultimate stab in the heart, right? We all go through heartbreak and so look at any good novella. Look at any any good novella. Corazón de piedra. Corazón de piedra. I don't know the rest of the words. Any good novella, and it's about betrayals. The soap operas, all the soaps are betrayal. All the soaps and women get stuck to that shit like this. They were like, oh my god, can you believe she did that? And then like WWE too. Everything is about like betrayal sells, betrayal sells. Yup, it's tantalizing. It brings eyeballs and it brings attention. So Jordan Peterson said something that was extremely intelligent. He goes, I just figured out a way to like, you know, monetize my haters, turn it into a good story. Dr. Peterson, genius. This level of genius is Edward Bernays level of genius. However, knowing that stories of betrayal are of biblical proportions, I take your monetization of haters and I up it. I go all in. And I monetize my Judases, dude. I monetize my Judases. I seriously, this message is to all the people who stabbed me in the back, tried to take my girls, called me dumb stupid smelly fucking all oh, you portuga italiana dude oh don't call me a liar dude fucking the internet is undefeated the internet salutes out there stay undefeated Woo! they stay undefeated so you could be out there blah, 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 getting all the people together little fucking parrot parrots little fucking parakita always got to talk 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 shit about everybody but guess what all it takes is just a few little 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 hours of internet sleuthing to find out who's lying. Don't call me a fucking liar, motherfucker. Just be everybody in the world. The greatest sin and the hardest one to overcome for every fucking human being. I don't care if you're a priest, a fucking child reaching into a cookie jar. Lying is the one that's the hardest because it's the easiest done. You fucking get, a lie will get a fucking person out of your face like that. You're like, what did you have for breakfast? Do I really want to have this conversation with this person right now? Nothing. And then you just walk away. <laughs> did you eat something for breakfast? Hell yeah, you probably had the best breakfast you ever had in your life. You just didn't want to share that story with them. You just didn't want to share that story with them. So, <coughs> all you people out, all you heathens and infidels out there, you're all fucking liars. But it's the people that curb the lies and curb the liars out of their lives that go all the way up. They go all the way up. So yeah, Dr. Peterson, I learned something from Tuta Sexy. Dr. Peterson, I learned something from you. You were like, I've, I've just learned how to monetize my haters. Guess what? I monetize my Judas. I wouldn't fucking be blowing the fuck up if it wasn't for all them Judas backstabbing ass line fucking Katrinas and Hurricane Katrinas, dude. And fucking all these Viscaras and Verissimos and Correas and all these Portuga Italiana that say that they were my friend. But just fucking just trying to dig and fucking take shit from me and steal from me and, and stab knives in my back. You motherfuckers keep everything that you took. Keep talking shit about me. Keep talking shit about me. Even do it anonymously because I'm going to find out. I'm not stupid. <laughs> yeah, if people, let me tell you something. There's, you have the illusion, the illusion of uh, discretion. You have the illusion of anonymity. As soon as you, 
As soon as you use one of these things, you can be easily found out. Easily found out. You can't hide. You can't fucking turn into no, you can't see me John Cena and shit. You can't hide. As soon as you get on one of these things, there's gonna be some little silly Russian out there with nothing to do. Internet sleuthing, hacking and shit. And they're gonna find out. What does it find out, dude? All you little fucking from the shadows talking shit and everything like that. I'm gonna find out. What does it find out, dude? I'm gonna find out. And thank you to all you Judases. Like, I just want you to know that you can call me a liar. But in the end, the real question is going to be, am I who you guys think I am or say I am? Or are you who I say you are? And in the end, the internet's going to find out the truth. Uh, that's why you don't want me telling my story. That's why you're all coming together like Borg. Dude, you guys were Borg from the start. From the start, from the start I always knew you guys were Borg. You, you're very weak unless you're large in numbers. So you're trying to get everybody together and fucking lawyers and judges and pastors and everybody and trying to get and point fingers and 5150 crisis people and look at him, he's crazy, he's crazy. Yeah, call me whatever the fuck you want. But don't call me a liar. But don't call me a liar. So yeah, stories of betrayal and this little Judas spirit if you could survive that shit, if you could survive that shit, oh, gracias a Dios, that's sexy. Thank, all, all thanks to one God, if you could survive that shit, because it turns into one hell of a story. Zizou!